Edward Walter Maunder was born in England in 1851. Becoming an astronomer he studied sunspots which led him to identify that during the solar magnetic cycle throughout the year 1645 and 1715, sunspots were exceedingly rare. This period became known as the Maunder Minimum. He undertook several expeditions to observe solar eclipses and on one of these occasions in 1905, it took him to Labrador, Canada. Though the journey did not produce any great scientific results regarding his studies, he returned home with the following story. We went to the very furthest outpost of the Hudson Bay Company in those regions. There was a solitary English trapper on one side of the Northwest River and a French trapper on the other. Each had two or three half-breed native Indians working under him, and just before we came, these half-breeds had come across footmarks in the neighboring forest, which they thought to be those of human beings, but had failed to trace the latter. They were thought to indicate a race of giants. One of the Frenchmen, who was living twenty miles further up the river, returned to his hut one evening, to find his daughter, a girl of seventeen or eighteen, in a state of panic. She said she had seen a huge black hairy man come out of the wood opposite the hut, and beckoned to her. The father brought his family down to the northwest river, and then the two white men, with the captain of a small schooner went up country to discover the mystery of the footprints. They did not succeed however, and it was thought that what the girl had seen was a bear. 